pounds with him. Right, guys, huh? Hey, Danny, go ahead. Hit him with Glimpy. Go ahead. Well, hey, you're yeah, coming. Stop pushing me. You're putting your finger in Catskills. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This guy's too serious. Well, we got your boys for you. Thanks, officer. They might be underprivileged, but they sure ain't underdeveloped. I guess they got us, folks. Take a couple of squad cars and these Dick Tracy bracelets. Hey, what do you mean? Go on, we're going to have your backs. Where'll I write the boys on Forsyth Street? Hey, where are we going? Man, we're going to camp. Camp? What, have we been drafted? I'm disappointed. I thought we was going to reform school. I would have been a sophomore this year. Okay. Yeah. Well, what do you want us to do with them? Deposit them in the bus. I'll fix them cops. I'll go to the country and get sick and die and come back and haunt them. I swear. Hey, 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 I don't care. Uh, Stop here for a few minutes, just long enough to pick up mail supplies. I hope you don't mind. Okay. I got to check one of those back tires anyway. Take me about ten minutes. Good. Say, fellas, don't any of you wander away. Look around if you want to, but don't get far away from the bus. Right? Really do. Come on, honey. Just sit down here. You know you're going to be inside. Just a little scientific curiosity, that's all. Law of gravitation, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I uh, can see we're all going to have lots of fun together in the next two weeks. Yeah, so can I. <laughs> That'll be good. I ain't got no sense of humor, that's all. So you fellas hang around here. I'm going to do a little window shopping. Yeah. You heard what he said. I don't like that guy's altitude. Me neither. If anybody thinks I'm going to stay up here and associate with him and all these cows and chickens, they're crazy. You know, I milked a cow once. Yeah. A very intricate affair. You see, a cow has four faucets. What for? Well, the first faucet is for buttermilk, the second for buttermilk, and the third is for evaporated milk. What's the fourth one for? I'm going to think of this cow when he had tree. Oh, that cow must have been contented. Oh, very contented. Are you contented? Oh, extremely so. That's fine. I don't get it. Hey, listen. You guys lay low. See, I think I got an angle. As soon as it gets dark... Make we'll... a break? That's right. Good. Hey, I'm thirsty. What do you have? I don't know. You got a menu? Oh, uh -huh, certainly. I'll have some of that. That's the name of the town, silly. Oh, that's what I thought. Give me a root beer. All righty. And uh, what do you have? Uh, I'll have a, a demi tasse and a large cup of black coffee. A what? I'll have a root beer, too. And, uh, what'll you have? You. You're very fresh. I hope your bread is just as fresh. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Got a date. How about tomorrow night? I've got a date. How about Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night? I got, got a date. Well, that kills that week. Hey, what's your name? Margie. 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 Uh -huh. What a Monica. Marjorie and Muggsy. See, that's got a lot on them out of here. We're going to camp, you know. Yeah, we're underprivileged. We interrupt this program for an important announcement to listeners near Hillside and Colton. All citizens are warned to be on the lookout for the monster killer who is believed to be in this vicinity. This maniac has left the trail of three inhuman murders and is believed heading upstate. We return you now to your program. Monsters? They don't mean nothing to us. We eat them every morning for breakfast. Bring those monsters on. I ain't a scared of them. I'm anemic. I was taken for a ride once. You were? Yeah, there I was. Miles from Times Square, somewhere in Central Park, I think. And them gangsters, they had me packed against a tree. And I got a machine gun saying one. <laughs> hey, what do you think happened? I don't know what happened. He got killed. Oh, 
Fantastic, wasn't it? Hey, there goes our boss! Bust, didn't he? Yeah. I've been looking for you, Jim. Oh, hello there, Mayor. What's on your mind? Did you hear that stuff on the radio about that monster coming this way? Yep, and that ain't all. I just got a telegram from the state police. You did, huh? You better come inside and talk it over. Jeff Dixon, if you don't stop pouting, I'll scream. I'm not pouting. You are, too. For no reason at all. That's no way to enjoy a vacation. Vacation? Are you kidding? With that bunch of gorillas, it'll be a nightmare. They're not gorillas. They're young and a little wild, maybe. Besides, you know perfectly well the camp was founded for boys who are denied the things you've had. Well, all right, so they need the outdoor life. But I was hoping for a nice, quiet summer at camp so I could study my thesis and be with you. Instead of that, it's going to be as quiet around here as the fun house at Coney Island. Well, some excitement will do us good. It's been a dull summer till now. Well, I like that. So now I'm dull. No, but lawyers aren't usually exciting. They're steady and, well, solid, like the Rock of Gibraltar. And just about as good company, I suppose. Well, you listen to me, Linda Mason. I may be studying to be a lawyer. And a good one, too. Yes, and a good one, too. <laughs> okay, you win. You're a good nurse, too. <laughs> hey, you know that guy that runs this place? It wouldn't be bad if it wasn't for his disposition. Eh, hey, he ain't no good. But that girl that hangs around with him, she ain't bad. Hey, what's she supposed to be? According to a uniform, I guess she's a nurse. A nurse? Pardon me, well, I run a temperature. Well, anyhow, the chow was okay. I didn't eat it. What? It was full of bugs. How do you mean, bugs? I heard that nurse said with her own mouth, the thing had vitamins in it. Man, it sure is dark in here. I'll say, I can't even see you. <laughs> I can't even see myself. It's an owl. I know it's an owl, but who's howling? That's an owl. It's got four legs and fleas. How can you read in the dark? Huh? How can you read in the dark? I went to night school. Hey, shut up, will you? Let a guy go to sleep. Hey, Muggs. What? I'm not scared or nothing like that, but... Remember what we heard about that, that guy on the radio? So? Well, suppose he was prowling around here. Don't you think we ought to stand guard or something? Yeah, you just go out and set a couple of bear traps for him. Happy dreams, Slappy. This book is murder. Thirsting for the flow of bright red blood. At this moment... Resident here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Then perhaps you can tell me where the Billings estate is. The Billings estate? Why, it ain't been lived in for ten years. Not since old man Billings was murdered in his sleep. Interesting. But you were about to tell me where it was. Oh, sure. Sure. It's up there. On the top of Billings Mountain. Oh, I see. Is there a road to it? Yes, but... Uh... Thank you. Good night, my friend.
It's you. What do you mean? I know you. I know who he is, too. He? The monster. He was here just a second ago, just now. The radio said he was coming and he's here. And you know who I am? Of course. I read about you in this book. You're Dr. Von Grosch, and you've come here to save us from him. Yes, I am Dr. Von Grosch. I knew it. I knew it right away. And the monster, did you know him at once also? Right from the start. Couldn't miss him with those glaring eyes and red lips. The dwarf, too, like a little black spider. And the trailer full of coffins. I was right in the middle of the book when they come in. Where have they gone? Said he was going to the empty Billings estate. On top of the hill. Yes, the solitude he needs. Tell me, this, this knowledge you possess, you've gained it all from that book? Oh, sure. You see, I'm kind of a student of uh, black magic. Oh, say, I better tell the constable you're here. You need help? No, wait. We must proceed slowly, carefully. As you know, at night the monster is strong and the police would be helpless against him. I guess that's right. I know that's right. Perhaps... Perhaps you'd like to help me. Oh, sure, Dr. Von Groach. Fine. Now, first, though you may speak of the monster's arrival, you must keep my presence a secret. That is of the utmost importance. You have a room, some place where we may converse? Oh, yeah. I've got a cottage. Uh, just take a few minutes to close up the station. There won't be any more business anyway. Fine, I'll wait here. So good, I'm um, got a little some mania. Why don't you put some liniment on it? Yeah. I know where you're going. You got a date with our girl, Margie. So I got a date with Margie. So what? So we got a date too, and we're gonna keep it. You guys can't leave, can't you? Get in trouble. You gotta have a permit. You got one? I certainly. Let's see it. Hmm. Must have left in my smoking jacket. I quit surrounding me, will you? I'm going and I'm going alone. I made three of us going alone. Sidewalks are free. Who ever heard of sidewalks in the woods? Didn't I tell you to be quiet? Hear the howling of the frightened dogs? <laughs> no. Diana Billings. Winter came after eighteen short summers. She was beautiful. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Why didn't you put citronella on like we did? Citronella? I thought you said vanilla. I'm giving these guys a party. Hey, I wonder if we're heading in the right direction. Ah, you got nothing to worry about, pal. I got my compass with me. Well, which way are we going? So dark, I can't see the compass. Here, I'll give you a little light. That's a fine thing. Someone stole one of the hands off. Somebody stole one of the hands. You must have been a magician. A compass only has one hand. Well, why don't somebody loan me those things? Come on, let's get out of this shell hole. What is this, a cow trail or the state highway? I 
a nice place for a picnic. You run out of toothpicks, you can use pine needles. Why don't you look where you're going? What are you looking for? Remember what we heard on the radio about that, that ghoul, that guy that sucks all the blood out of you? What would he be doing out here, sucking the sap out of the trees? Hey, does the guy really suck the blood out of you? Yeah. Well, I got nothing to worry about because the mosquitoes got all mine. Ow! That was a Mecca Schmidt. Hey, what if he really was out here? What if you was back home? Yeah? Your old man would give you a hit in the head like that. I ain't got an old man. The kid's an orphan. Oh, tripping, huh? You know, it's a five-yard penalty for that. Come on, let's move. Oh, oh it's so hot. Bob Wyatt, hold it. Hope ain't no bulls oh. over here. Hey, hold it for me now, will you? Come on, Muggs. Yeah, hey, I'm holding it, I'm yeah. holding it. Come on, Slim. Go to town. Hey, get me out of here, will you? I can Watch see my out. date with Marge. He's going to be about as private oh. as the Delancey Street fish market on Friday. Get You know, I'm starting to think we're lost. Yeah, we should have been in town a long time ago. I'd go back to camp if I knew the way. Ah, oh, quit drooling. You're getting me wet. Who asked you guys to follow me in the first place? Hey, a graveyard. We can't be far from town. Come on, let's cut across it. It may be a shortcut. And it's all the same to you, Muggs. I'd like to detour. Oh, come on, you chump. We'll be out of it in a minute. Uh, how long is a minute? That's too long, brother. Stop! After you catch me, I'll stop. Place, ain't it? We ain't looking for no rich car. We're looking for a place to get Pee Wee patched up. Come on, let's go. Hope there's somebody there. We want to get him to a doctor. Visitors? You 
Might as well sit down, huh? Yeah. What kind of a place is this, anyway? I don't know, but I don't think I'm gonna like it. Who is it? It's me! Listen, Schooner, the next time you come out of the dock, put a coat of whitewash on, will you? I'm so scared, I'm turning white now. Oh, I wish that guy'd hurry up. I'm getting tired. Ow! Good evening. I must apologize for the state of my home. It has been without occupants for many years. Oh, well, look, a buddy here's been hurt. We was going through the cemetery, taking a shortcut to town, and somebody took a pot shot at him. How unfortunate. He should lie down. Don't you think we ought to get a doctor? Uh, perhaps later. Come with me. calling a doctor. There's no telephone here. However, I have some knowledge of medicine. I will treat you, friend. I suggest you wait outside. Or better still, in my study. Thank you. Okay. Come on, fellas. Uh, see you later. We've looked everywhere. Not a sign of them. Did you look down by the lake? Yes, everywhere. Well, what are you going to do? Nothing. Well, Jeff, we've got to find them. They're city kids. If they're lost in the woods... I hope they aren't. Jeff Dixon, do you know what you're saying? I certainly do. Those kids have been nothing but trouble from the beginning. If they're lost, it's their own fault. So you're going to sit there and let them roam the woods all night? Oh! Hey, what are you going to do? If you're not man enough to go after them, I'll do it myself. Well, but, Linda... Hey, maybe she's serious. <laughs> she's been reading Florence Nightingale. She'll be back when she gets tired. Hey, I don't like the looks of this place. Neither do I. Let's get out of here, huh? Hey, yeah, let's get out of here. Well, I'd leave Pete. we here. we got to wait till he's docked it up. Hey, you think that bird up there's all right? What if he's a... Uh... What if he's what? I don't know, but I sure hope he hurries up. Me too. And there he was slapping right in my face. Yeah, what's he so happy about? A spell! Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, look, look. Go ahead, look for yourself. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, there ain't nothing in there. There ain't. No. Do it. Whoa. You picture that? Oh, yeah, I seen it with my own eyes. Do you feel all right, kid? I never felt better in my life. But, uh, do you think we ought to get back? Get out of here, huh? Without Pee Wee? We'll get. We'll go up and see what's my Pee Wee now, huh? Yeah. Come on. Up there first. How's Pee Wee? Baby. Oh, your friend. He's resting well. Well, we want to see him. Um, I suggest you should not disturb him. Uh, we ain't gonna disturb him, we just want to see him. Hey, hey, Pee-wee! He's dead. Not at all. He's merely asleep. Yeah? What'd you do, give him a mickey or something? No, your friend was in pain, and I found it necessary to give him a mild sedative. You see, I have given him the proper treatment. Well, how are we gonna get out of here with him like that? 
Well, leaving is out of the question. Your friend must not be moved. But we gotta get back to camp. Yeah, I'm hungry. Vitamins or no vitamins. Always talking about food. We can't leave Pee-wee here alone. That will not be necessary. My home is not equipped for visitors, but Luigi prepared rooms for you. You will be my guest for the night. Come, I show you to your rooms. That's fine, but one of us is staying here. Hey, Scruto, you keep Pee-wee company. Hurry. Who, who, me? Yeah, you. will take time. I'll relieve you later. Okay, Mr. Uh... You will notice uh, this is a very old house. In some respect, a very strange one. You ain't kidding. The maid service in this hotel is terrible. <laughs> hey, Glippy. You and Skinny take that room. Just me and Skinny? What do you want, a nurse? Don't forget to call me every half hour, huh? Yeah, I'll tell the operator. A very charming room in a repulsive sort of way. Hey, this looks like one of those beds George Washington slept in. <coughs> well, it's about time to change the sheets. Let's get some light on this subject, huh? I understand this room was occupied by the late owner of this house at the time of his death. I hope this knowledge will not disturb your sleep. Luigi has placed a candle somewhere, I'm sure. Good night. Say, uh, maybe you better lend us your candle. Yeah, come Good on. Good night. Oh, you know your way around here better than us. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, go ahead. No, I'll follow you. We'll both go together. Okay. Hey, uh, maybe I better get a flashlight, huh? No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's go together. Yeah, yeah, you said that once. You know something? I like this room much better than the dark. And I don't like the dark. Get a load of this joint, will you? Is this murder? No wonder the guy died. Forgive me if I startled you. You would perhaps like this candle. Good night. Good thing's gone far enough. What thing? You know doggone well what thing. You seen Lem Harvey? Yes. Well, why haven't you gone up the hill and arrested that fella? Well, Mayor, you can't go around arresting folks until you know for sure. You gotta have proof. Proof? You know that monster was headed this way. Radio said so. And the state police wired you. Lem Harvey saw him with a trailer full of coffins. A crazy killer running around loose butchering women and children. What kind of proof do you want? Some little girl murdered out in the woods? I tell you, Jim, you gotta do something. I'll take it easy, Mayor. I'm doing all I legally can. I've sworn in a lot of deputies, and I'm going to have every inch of road within 20 miles of this village patrolled every hour of the day. All right, Jim, but it's your responsibility. You've been elected to protect the women and children of this community, and it's up to you to do it. And don't forget, we've got that boys' camp on our hands, too. Why don't you lay down, Mugs, and try to get some sleep? Yeah, I don't feel like sleeping. You know, there's something funny about that bird. Besides, I'm worried about Pee-wee. Yeah, I know it. So am I. Well, let's go see him. Okay. Well, all right. Let's go. Hello. What's the matter with you? We come sleep in our room. It ain't cheerful like this one. And hey, where are you going? We're going to see Pee-wee. Hey, that's a good idea. Come on. Who 
is that? Yeah. Who is us? Us is me. What's the matter with you, Scuno? Ain't nothing the matter with me, it's him. He been like that all the time? Man, he ain't moved a muscle. I think he's dead. Hey, Pee Wee. Hey, Pee Wee. That clinches it. Now we're gonna get tough. We're going downstairs and have a showdown. You fellas come with me, Scuno. You watch Pee Wee. And if anybody comes up here, you let out a holler. Listen, Muggs, you got the wrong man for this job. I, I, I'm better in the crowd. Look, you heard him, didn't you? Let's go. Yeah, and keep your eyes open. You don't think I'm gonna stay in here for one minute and close them, do you? Pee Wee. Pee Wee. You ain't dead, is you? Say you ain't. If you can't say nothing, just shake your head. Nobody in here. Let's look somewhere else. Eh, yeah, let's go in. Don't you hear me talking to you, Pee Wee? What's the matter with him? Hey! Say, come on, Pee Wee, open the door, will you? Come on, come on, stop playing, will you? Come on, hey! Hey, open that door, I want to get out of here! Slender showing up? Not yet. When she does, tell her I've gone to town to see the constable. We'll probably need a searching party. Okay. That clinches it. That guy's a monster. We're getting Pee Wee and leaving here. Hey, maybe he's done something to him. Maybe Pee Wee will be like he is. I don't know about that, but we'll leave him before we find out. Hey, do you think that guy's dead like it says? What's the matter with you? Can't you read? It says here that in the night he prowls about seeking new victims. And in the daytime he sleeps in a coffin. Well, let's wait till daytime, huh? We ain't waiting for nothing. We're going right now. Remind me not to come back here on my vacation. I'll put it in my blue book. Leave the house. Hey, open the door. I can't. The door is locked. Well, where's the key? I don't know. I ain't got it. All right, stand aside. We'll bust it down. Go ahead, Glimp. Bust it down. I ain't no Superman. You bust it down. You break it down. Why should I break it down? Break it down. Oh, come on, boys. When do you bust the door? Then I got a bum shoulder. Oh, Go you've ahead. been reading Tony Flash Gardens. I don't want to do that. Somebody's got to open it. Oh, I'm not doing it. Way. That's the way he well, what took you so long to open it? I didn't open the door. It opened by itself. Sit down. You'll be all right. Hey, where's Pee Wee? I don't know. What do you mean, I don't know? What do you do, just get up and walk out? That's exactly what I don't mean. Nothing else but. He got up out of that bed, walked out of this room, didn't even look at me or say a word. That's funny. Say, look here, y'all know one thing? I believe Pee Wee done been turned into a zombie. A zombie? What do you mean? You should have seen that glassy stare in his eyes and the way he didn't listen when I was talking to him. Now, you know what I mean? Zombie and no zombie. We're going to find Pee Wee and get him out of the spider's paradise, see? Now, the first thing we do is... Where is your friend? That's what we want to know. What'd you do to him? I? I did nothing. In his condition, he should not be moved. Well, we're going to find him and bring him back to camp. No, no. I insist that you stay. You see, you're weary. And you see things not as they are, but as your imagination paints them for you. I suggest that you all retire and that Luigi and myself look for your friend. He cannot have gone for her. Well, maybe you're right. I think I got hallucinations, huh? Yeah, I guess I've been painting pictures, huh? Well, what do you say, fellas? We all get a good night's sleep and talk about it at the breakfast, huh? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Horror Man. Back in the world! 
wanted to collapse. Collapse on this human guy. Let me have more money. Come on, let's go. Come on, hurry up. I'll warn that guy. Hey, it's locked. You'll never get out of there. Listen, Danny Meade's gonna take top floor, see? You, Glimpy, you take Skinny and Scruno and search this floor and the one below. If anything happens, holler. And if you find Pee Wee, holler even louder. We'll meet you down at the foot of the stairs. Come on. Let's go. Come on, fellas. Go ahead, Scruno. Look in there. No, no, no. I, I ain't gonna look in there. Ah, oh, you're yellow. If I'm yellow, use carbine. What are you scared about? I'll be right behind you. Go ahead. That's long enough. There's nothing in there. Stay close, will you, Muggs? I am. I am. Hey, got a match, bud? Say, what was that? Maybe someone's trying to break the leaves, huh? Hey, we ought to have a candle. Yeah, I'll go get one. You two guys stay right here. I'll be back. Hey, Grumpy said to wait. I know what he said, but something tells me to keep moving. Nothing in there. There's nothing in there. Uh, nothing there. Hey, Pee-wee! Say, you reckon he gonna be in there? I don't know. Maybe. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go in there. You know what he said. Don't go in there. Just wait for him. Well, I just take a look and see. Hey, Skinny. Skinny! Hey, come on now. Stop kidding. Did you in there? Ain't nobody in there. He's gone. Oh. Get out of here. Oh, it's you, Glenby. Oh, where's Skinny? I don't know. He done disappeared. You mean disappeared? Well, he went in that box and he's gone. Oh, I swear. Sure, come me. on, I'll show you. Come on. You stay right here. Don't move. Hey, Glimpy. Glimpy? Is you in there? You is, ain't you? Come on now. We ain't got all night. The both is gone. Oh, Muggsy? Muggs? Muggsy, come on up here and help me. Come, Muggs. I want to get out there. Muggs! Oh, he's coming. Say, Muggsy? Muggsy? Skinny and, and Limpy went in that box, and they gone. I went in and looked, but I don't see them in there. Ah, oh, Muggs, I want to get out of here. I don't like this place. This place ain't... Of our boys around town? No, I haven't. Why? Six of them missing, and I thought they might have come in for the bright lights. That isn't all. Linda went out to search for them, and she hasn't shown up. You say six? That's right. Well, it sounds like Joe here might have taken a shot at them tonight. Hit one, too, maybe. What do you mean, took a shot at them? Well, I can't take them over the bearing ground. Can't have anybody prowling around dead night, you Yes, know. but why shoot at a bunch of harmless kids? Oh, they only used buckshot, Jeff. Couldn't have hurt anyone bad. Well, where'd they go? Where are they now? Uh, I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you, Jeff. 
I want you to take it easy, like. Well, come on, come on. What is it? Well, you remember hearing about that monster murderer on the radio? Yeah. We got reason to believe that he's hiding out in the old Billings house near your camp. Joe here thinks he saw the lads heading for the house. Wait a minute. Where are you going, Jeff? I just told you my girl's out there in the woods. Oh, but you're not going out there alone. I'll call in some of the boys and we'll go with you. That's a dangerous maniac out there. Hey, Hank. Look. Coffins. Just like the book said. Oh. Go ahead, open it. Oh, you open it. Maybe it ain't supposed to be open till Christmas. Go ahead, open it. You take the other end. Okay. It's locked. Are we lucky? Maybe we better try the other one, huh? Oh, I'm sure they're locked too. What's the future in Lyman Corpus? Hey, maybe we better go back downstairs. Huh? I don't think Pee Wee's up here. I don't think so. Yeah. Wouldn't you up here? No, would I? Hey, isn't that Pee Wee? Yeah! Well, let's get him! Come in here. There ain't a sign of him now. Hey, Mush, look out the monster! Quick, stop! Clippy, you sure scared the heck out of us. What well, did I do, make you nervous? Where did you come from? That's what I'm trying to find out. Where's Muggsy? Oh, he's right around here. Muggs? Muggsy! Muggs! Muggsy! Hey, Muggs! Hey, let go see the kid. I didn't see him go out, did you? No. Well, let's take a look. Hey, I don't jump no more. Hey! Hey, what's the matter with you? Wait a minute. That's you, Muggs? I can't breathe. Hey, Daddy! I'll bat you right in the head for this. Let me out of here. Come on, open it up. Locked. Just a minute, we'll break it open. My oh God, you want to get water on the brain? God, oh, open it. Oh, oh, here. Get the side of it. There. Hey, Muggs, you're lucky. We was just gonna leave. Hey, I couldn't get out. Must have got stuck. Hey, was that you in that hope chest? Don't excite yourself, Muggs. You've been through an experience. An experience? I've been through a catastrophe. And that's a beautiful way. Now listen, we saw Pee-wee come in here and he must be around. See, the quicker we find him, the quicker we can take a powder. Now let's make a search. What are you going to be doing? I'm going to relax, like you said. I'm going to take it easy. Oh, dictator! Dark in here. I'm going to have to find some matches in this place. Oh, it's a match. Oh. Well, I ain't scared now. Some folks might be, but I ain't. This sure is a nice, cozy room. That's what it is. Nice and cozy. Some mighty nice folks must used to live here. Can tell by this furniture. <laughs> That's what my mammy said. I wish I was with her right now, too. But this sure is a nice room. Yes, it is. Sure is a... <gasps> what? A white spider? That must be the ghost of the black widow. Get out of here. Get No, get out. Get out of here. Get out of here. I look at the back of the can. Don't bother me. I don't smoke, so don't, I ain't bothering you. That's all right. Please, Mr. Spider, come back and wear me a ladder so I can get out of here right now. Ah! I'm getting out of here now. I ain't chasing nobody. I want to get out of here. 
Where did you go? I'll tell you later. Let's catch him. Hey, where'd he go? Come on. Hey, get him. Come on out of there. Let go. Come on out of there. Let go of there. Oh, what? What is this? Get... Well, now we got him. What are we going to do with him? I don't know. I wish we had a mouth trap or something. Hey, let's put him in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Throw him in there. Come on. Hey, listen to that. Hey, Spruno, look. Yeah, well, if it doesn't, I will. Hey, look at this gun. Is this a beauty? Hey, don't. The slide will be loaded. Ah, uh, you can look. It's full of cobwebs. Even the trigger's rusty. Yeah? How oh, do you like that? Pikey! And I haven't got my hunting license with me. So what? Uh, they're out of season. There's no wearing them, Mutt. Hey, Mutt. Wake up. What are you snapping your fingers like that for? You woke me up. Didn't you hear the gun go off? Gun? I told you to find Pee Wee, not shoot him. We didn't even get to see him. It's a fine thing. See, well, if you want something done around here, you gotta do it yourself. Hiya, pal. I don't see it. I don't see that. He's still coming. <laughs> Man, now go away, we ain't bothering you. the young lady from the camp? Why, yes. There's a mad killer in the Billings house, and your boys, the boys who are missing from your camp, are there and in his power. No. I'm going to their rescue now. Then I'm going with you. You will follow my orders to the letter? Of course. Good girl. Come. Spell on me out in the hall. I got the idea to put it on. My bed, huh? A mighty frosting. Yeah, look here, Mugs. Don't you do that no more. Don't do that. Why not? Man, you like to scare us to death. I'm going up and get Danny and Glimpy. Mm -hmm. You guys wait down here. I got something to talk over with you. And if Pee Wee comes in, you hold him. Hold All right. Him. We got him. in them there aluminum pajamas, though. <laughs> <laughs>
fooled it, didn't I? Very funny, very funny. You didn't fool me for one minute. What's the idea of playing games? What are you doing wearing that suit? Oh, my teller told me we wear like iron. I gotta wrap this hook iron around your neck. Come on, let's get out of these animated sardine cans and find Pee Wee. Hey, Scrooge. Huh? Got a can opener? No, but I got a pocket knife. Uh oh. and Pee Wee are missing. It's up to us to find them or we'll all be missing. I wish I was missing right now. Let's go down to the cemetery and talk this thing over where nobody can hear us. Look here, Muggs. Do we have to go out there? Why not? Well, I just don't do my best speaking in their graveyards. Oh, come on. What was that? Ah, just your imagination. Look here, Olympic. If anything happens to me, you notify my mammy, won't you? Sure, sure. If something happens to you, who will I notify first? Just notify me first and nothing will happen. in a room with a skeleton. A real live skeleton? Did you ever see a real live skeleton? No, sir. And if I never do, that would be too soon. Now, if we can find Pee-wee, everything's going to be all right. That's how I got in the room with him. I was following Pee-wee, and he went in a secret passage. A secret passage? Where? Right down here in the cellar. I tried to find a spring to it, but I couldn't. Hey, maybe if we all tried. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> Fellas, meet my roommate, Mr. Bones. Boy, ain't he skinny? <laughs> Come on. How do you like that? It's open now. Still, we must have come back. Hey, this looks like the place where the plot begins to thicken. Let's take a look and make sure. Come on. All right, man, we ain't waiting any longer. We did it all. the monster, you only scam with two things, silver bullets and blessed iron. But we ain't got neither, so there's only one thing we can do, and that's to get tough. Plenty tough, see? What do we do with the fellas back home when they step out of line? Knock them out! Exactly. That's what we're gonna do with that vulture and the little termite that hangs out with them. Get it? Say right. like the subway if they had lights down here. I wish the train had come through. returns to the scene of the crime. Who? Who are you? You don't remember me, but 20 years ago in this very house, I was a living being. I had flesh on my bones, blood flowed through my veins, but you, you, you scared the health out of me. I was never in this house until tonight. You have made a mistake. It is you who has made a mistake, my friend. For years, you have wantonly taken the lives of millions. So, tonight, I am going to take yours. <laughs> no! No! Stay away! Stay away!
boys. Make those knots good and tight. Hey, Marshal, let him have it. What are you, kidding? Leave him for the cops. Oh, let me punch your skin. Stay up to there, huh? You heard me the first time. Hey, what do you say we pick up Pee Wee and get out of this furnished morgue? Hey, maybe there's a reward for this guy. Boy, if there is, my mother won't have to take it. No more washing. Why not? I'll go out and buy one of those bloody horses and go around and collect it for him. Hold this for me, Chauncey. Hiya, fellas. Pee Wee. Yeah. Hey, you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Hey, what happened to you guys? What happened to us, he wants to know. You've been running around the house like a guy walking asleep and we've been chasing after you. Yeah? Last thing I remember is that guy giving me a pill and then I went to sleep. I sure had some funny dreams, though. I'll play that across the board. Well, can you get up? Sure I can. Hey, fellas, do something to scare me, will you? I got the heat cuts. Uh-oh. Oh, what do you mean, Dr. Uh, We're hey. still friends, ain't we? All right, you men surround the house. When you hear a shot, break in wherever you are. Okay, I'm going in the front door. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Come on. Hey, what's that? Hey, what's that? Thank you, lucky stars. We got here in time. Yeah, why? That that man's a monster. Yeah, near sighted, bud. You listen to me, I'll tell you the whole story. We was all going to town, see, and we decided to take a shortcut to a cemetery when some drunk takes a pot shot at Pee Wee and clips him, so we brought him up here to get him all fixed up. Now, first, we thought this was a haunted house, but it's not. And if it is, he ain't haunting it because we thought he was a monster, too. But like I said, he's not. Just a magician. And a very good one, too. He's come up here to practice some new routines. This guy here is his assistant, the best in the country. What about that head on the plate? Oh, just that's the old, uh, the old salami trick. You know, where the girl carries the guy's head in the tray? Well, I was the guy. That's Linda. through the skylight and I'll be all set. No okay. for danger. Ah, that's not, give me that light. You keep that vulture's attention out here. Yeah, wrap our door, boy. Yeah. Go ahead. Come on, boss.
more wine, Linda. Oh, I thought you'd never get here. No. Yeah. Well, let him, let me hit him up. Cut it out. Let him Hey, look who the monster is. Hey, what do we want, Sheriff? I wouldn't be surprised. I ain't sure had us fooled there for a while, Van Gross, or whatever your name is. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. You fool. Hey, let's go figure out how we're going to spend that money. Hey, 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 now, ladies and gentlemen, for peace the resistance, Nardo's famous disappearing cabinet. Good magic deserves lovely assistance. Will you help me, please? Why, yes. Why don't you forget this, my girlfriend? All, all right, all right. No harm. She just disappears. Going to bring her back? I think that's probably the easiest trick I've ever seen. I think I can do it. You can. I most certainly can. Not only will I find a young lady, but when I do, we'll oscillate. Now, why don't you try it? I will. Just give me five seconds and I'll have her. Oh, delighted. What talent. <laughs> I got her, Professor. Oh, have I got her! 